question from probability if two unbiased dice are rolled simultaneously until a sum of the number appeared on these dice is either 7 or 11 then the probability that 7 comes before 11 okay so to solve these type of problems first he has given that two unbiased dice are rolled then what is the possibility of total sample space we know that two unbiased dice are rolled then the total sample space we will get as 36 okay why because so two dice let the possibilities are getting one on one die another is one on the another die so one comma two and so on we'll get one comma six next two comma one two comma two two comma six and so on in this manner three comma one four comma one finally we'll get six comma one so on six comma six so this are all the sample space elements okay and from this one so if uh, the two are simultaneously rolled a sum of the number seven and eleven okay seven or eleven has to be appeared so let i am considering a is an event to get the sum as seven and b is an event to get the sum as eleven then at what cases okay what are the events we will get the sum as a seven so what it is first die one second die six this is one case so first die two second die five another case first die three second die four and first die four second die three okay so next five comma two and finally we will get six comma one okay finally we'll get six comma one so to get the sum i7 total we have six possibilities and what about to get the sum i11 so sum i11 we will have only 5 comma 6 we will get as 11 and another possibility 6 comma 5 only we have total two possibilities now find out the probability of event a that means to get the sum as 7 so what it is number of elements in event a to total number of sample space then we will get i6 by 36 which is equals to 1 by 6 is the probability of getting 7 okay which is the probability of getting the sum as 7 getting sum as 7 then what is the probability of getting sum as 11 then the total number of elements in the event b to the sample space which is equals to 2 by 36 and we'll get over here it is as 1 by 18 is the probability of getting sum as 11 okay sum as 11 okay now the question is asked we need to get whenever in the first attempt if we are rolling we need to get the 7 before the 11 okay in the first attempt it is not obtained then again we need to roll it as again okay so in the first attempt if the 7 or 11 both are not coming 7 or 11 these are not coming so that means now find out neither 7 the probability of neither 7 nor 11 the probability of getting neither 7 nor 11 which is equals to so the probability of getting 7 is 6 and 11 is 2 so from the total number of elements 36 just subtract the 
probability of getting 7 and 11 that is the eight events then you will get the probability then we have here 28 by 36 then we will get is 4 by 9 okay sorry 7 by 9 we will get here it is like 7 by 9 so which is the probability of getting neither 7 nor 11 okay neither 7 not 11 so now we need to find out the 7 comes before 11 so in the first attempt then the required probability then the required probability okay then the required probability the 7 comes before 11 so in the first attempt i am getting 7 then what is the probability i will get 1 by 6 okay it is over the next in the second attempt so when i am rolling i am not getting the 7 first i need to get the 7 then only it has to be 11 so first i am not getting 7 means either i am not getting 7 nor 11 then what is the probability in the first attempt i am not getting 7 or 11 that is 7 by 9 and in the second rolling i am getting it as 1 by 6 7 is coming okay so next what is another case 7 by 9 first start a first roll i am not getting second roll i am not getting and in third roll i am getting and this goes on continues okay if we try to simplify this if i take 1 by 6 as a common then what i am getting 1 plus 7 by 9 plus 7 by 9 whole square plus and so on which is an infinite series which is an infinite series so which is an infinite series of geometric progression multiplied by 7 by 9 where a is equals to 1 and uh, common ratio is 7 by 9 less than 1 then we will get the geometric progression as a by 1 minus or a is equals to 1 by 1 minus 7 by 9 okay a is equals to 1 by 1 minus 7 by 9 then what we'll get over here 1 by 6 into 9 by 2 okay we'll get 3 2 is a 3 3 is a then final the required probability getting 7 before 11 as 3 by 4 